Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you for the new course Data Analytics for Accounting, which we offer for the first time at SUNY Plattsburgh. So you will be the first batch of students joining this trend in accounting of data analytics. Uh, before we go through the material, I'd like to give you my personal advice at the beginning of the semester, that please don't put pressure on yourself on mastering everything I'm gonna share with you in this course because I'm going to show you a lot of material and a lot of tools that you can use it for preparing the data, cleaning the data, reporting the data, which might be overwhelming. So what I say is try to save all the materials in a folder on your desktop and later on you can go back and try to uh, manipulate the data and work on it at your own pace to master the data analytics. So first of all, let me share with you the uh, course syllabus that I need to highlight the different points in that syllabus to give you guidelines about what we are going to do in this semester. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do lectures on a video and I'm going to upload them on Moodle so you can review it at your own time. When I say lecture, it's not going to be like one, two hours lecture. Usually I make short video clips to address different issue that comes along during the semester. So there is no specific time for our meeting. You can review the video. But if you need any help, as you can see here in the course syllabus that I am holding virtual office hours on Tuesday and Thursday, from 9 to 12, but if you are not available, you can send me an email and we can arrange time to talk. What we usually do in the office hours, either phone call or Zoom meetings or Skype call, whatever is convenient for you, to help you to catch up with any missing material in the course. Now, uh, apart from the goals of the course, which you can read it on the course syllabus, I would like to highlight the textbook. I know some students, they can afford to buy the textbook, some they don't, but this is the second edition of Data Analytics for Accounting, which meant to be for year 2021. The book is brand new and I just got it from the publisher. So if you are able to find any renting copy, it's okay if you would like to buy an old edition, it's okay. But my key point is you need to get the access card from Connect, which is the publisher. So here there are two options. Either you get the ebook with access card to Connect or you get the hard copy with access card to Connect, whatever is convenient for you. But through the access card to Connect, you will be able to do all the assignments, the quizzes, the exam and everything. So all the coursework, it will be through Connect. So you need to be aware that Connect is very essential part of the course. Uh, what I need from you to go through the course is to remember the information you discussed in introductory class of managerial and financial accounting because all the data analysis is going to be using financial accounting information. So it's good that you retain the old information from these courses. What are the coursework that I'm going to do it? First of all, through Connect, you will be able to read the ebook and I'm going to explain the Connect material on a different video but you will get the ebook where you can read it and answer some questions. You will get some assignments, some quizzes, and the exams, whether the midterm or the final exam. So Connect is a very essential part. Plus there is a project that I will discuss it also in another video. And this is mainly the coursework I'm expecting. Uh, usually I ask a student to do some class discussion during the semester, but because the summertime is so short, and I know for this course specifically, there is a lot of work to do it at your own. So I drop the class participation. If you add up the coursework from each one of those six elements, you will see that the total is 105, but we know the course total should be 100. So from the beginning, I give you 5% bonus in case you missed anything. There is still a chance that you can go for high grade at the end. So as I said, I'm going to explain all the assignments, 
the exam and the project in different videos. But what I need to highlight here is the course schedule. So what do you expect to do on a weekly basis? In the first week, which will start next Monday, you are required to read chapter one and two from the textbook and answer the smart book questions, the assignments, and the quizzes for a chapter one and two. The due date for all this material is June 14th. But I know some people, they would like to start early, so I activated all the material in, on Connect for chapter one and two today. So if you are able to buy the textbook with the access card to Connect and you log into Connect, you should be able to access my class material and start working on a chapter one and two today. In addition, I activated Moodle site and it should be working right now. If you need anything, let me know. So here you see week one, we will cover a chapter one and two. And in week one, you need to read the project and you send me the state that you are going to use for your data collection uh, by next Tuesday. So I'm giving you like 10 days ahead to start working on the project and connect to make sure that you will be ready up to the speed by Monday, next Monday. The following week will take a chapter three and four and you do the same. The smart book questions, the assignments, the quizzes will be due by June 21st. And by that date, you need to submit part one from the project. So the project has three parts. The first part will be due by June 21. And I uploaded the course project on Moodle and I'm gonna explain the details of the course project on Moodle as well. So on the third week, we will cover chapter five and we will have the midterm exam that will cover chapter one, two, three, and four. In the midterm, I'm going to select some of the questions that we addressed in the assignment and the quizzes of those four chapters, and they will come in the midterm exam. So when you study the assignments and the quizzes, keep in mind that the same questions will be repeated in the exam. So you need to spend extra time to master those questions and do well in the exam. In the fourth week, we will study chapter six and seven, and we will do the same. We will have a smart book questions, assignments, and quizzes, but at the end of the fourth week, uh, fourth week you are expected to submit part two of the project. So you need to submit all the weekly uh, submissions along with part two by July 5th. And then by July 10th, you will have a chapter eight, and then you will submit part three of the project. So remember that this course is a bit intensive. We have five weeks. We expect it to cover eight chapters from the textbook. Chapter one and two in week one, three and four in week two, five in week three, six and seven in week four, eight in week five. So this is in a nutshell what we are gonna do it throughout the semester. And I will end up this video for now. And I will show you the connect material in another video and the project in a third video. Wish you good luck and I encourage you strongly if you need help during the semester, please reach out to me by email or message or calling my office number. Thank you, bye bye.